Righteous and eternal Father, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come in your name this evening to give you the glory, to give you the honor. Because, Father God, you have kept us once again. Oh, glory to God. We try, oh Lord. We try, oh Lord. We try, oh Lord. And as we have tried to their God, you have been there for us. We put forth ourselves, Lord, knowing that you are there for us. To capture us, to hold us, to protect us. Most righteous and eternal God, how oh faithful you are. How oh loving you are. How oh wonderful you are. Oh God, thank you for being God. Thank you for the breath that's in us. Thank you, God, at every breath we inhale, God, it's you. You are responsible for that. For those that can see, God, we thank you for eyesight. And for those that see through your eyes, God, we give you glory. For those that have ear to hear, Lord, to hear your voice, as their spiritual hearing are open, God, we thank you, God. Oh, God, we give you glory. We're able to move around, Lord, and we thank you for that as well. We thank you, God, for the food that you've provided for us. We thank you, God, for the family that you've blessed us with. We thank you for the friends that you've blessed us with. Father God, thank you for all the testimonies you've given us and all the testimonies you're working on right now. And I pray, God, that we'll hold on to faith and trust you and know that we will have the testimonies. So we'll be able to magnify you so you will get the glory. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you for stretching out your only begotten Son on that cross at Calvary to make this possible that we have a savior we have a friend we have a brother that we can reach out to whenever we are need whenever we need it to be comforted he is there for us and he is there for us because he has given his life for us oh God we give you glory 
we thank you that you are God and God alone. And I thank you, God, for what you're about to do tonight. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you. And we will render praises unto you. Glory to your mighty name. And all the listeners, dear God, wherever they are listening, let us just join together as one. Know we knew who our Father is, or Savior is, who loves us so much. And I hope tonight, God, that you will be pleased with us as we come in one accord to magnify your name, the matchless name, Jesus Christ, that we have all authority to call on to you. We thank you, God, for those that you have healed this past week. We thank you, God, for doors that you've opened. Unemployment door that was open, Lord, this week. God, I thank you also for revealing yourself, for showing who you are in our lives. And truly, we are grateful for that. Thank you, God. And as we go through, we go through with you. You by our side will continue to trust you, will continue to be obedient to you, Lord. Without obedience, we can't see who you really are in our lives. So, God, we give you glory. We thank you for this Friday night that it's brand new to us. Father God, thank you for your Holy Spirit that's in here. Father God, I ask, dear God, to breathe a new anointing, a new refresh on all the listeners. God, we thank you again for this opportunity that you have kept us where we're amongst the dead. We are amongst the living. And thank you, God, for those that are tuning in for the first time and those that are not saved, that they will receive you tonight, that their name will not no longer be in that book, but will be in the Lamb's Book of Life. God, we give you glory. We thank you, Lord, as we decrease for you to increase. Father God, this is a fellowship that you have, you have brought together. You said before we're forming our mother's womb, you knew and you knew I was going to be here by your divine appointment. You know the listeners that are listening right now, that they also would be tuning in. To God be the glory, great things you have done. And God, I thank you and I love you and I give you all the glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. As I sealed it with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. Glory to your name, Lord. Thank you so much, O oh, my faithful choice, Gospel Radio. Listeners, thank you so much. My apologies. It's, n it's all had to do with me. Some technical difficulty on my part. <laughs> so choice is not responsible, okay? It's all the me. And I'm here, and we're just going to magnify the Lord. And I want you all to get excited. Why? Because you are saved. And also because you're sold out to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And again, he's preparing a home for us. And to God be the glory. I am looking forward to that. And I hope you all are looking forward to that. I don't know what kind of week you had. Listen, if it was a week that you weren't pleased with, you're in the presence right now with Sister Maureen. And we're just going to magnify the Lord together. Glory to God. Thank you once again. And welcome. Thank you for welcoming me in your home, in your cars, at work, wherever you are. And I love you so much. To God be the glory. Glory to God. There's something about getting into the very presence of God that literally makes a difference in your life. Isn't it amazing? Just about the time somebody comes and says, I think I got it as it relates to how full gospel does praise and worship, then what happens? We go to a next dimension.
Because we are one, we rejoice together. We cry together. All glory to God. That's what we do together. Because we are one. Stand as one for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we fall together as one for Him. No one else, not man, but for Christ. Who died for us? Because of the love that Christ has put within us. The love that we walk around with, which is the Holy Spirit. By their fruits you shall know them. Glory to God. There is no division of skin sound here today. And it's no favoritism. When you have the love of Christ within you, you love everyone. Not some, but everyone. That's the power of the love of God. I hope your hearts are united with mine, is it? Glory to God. I know mine is. And it's glory to God because of the Holy Spirit. Somebody raise up your voice and say, will you unite our hearts? Sing. That's a love that you know will not take away. <laughs> it's not man. Glory to God. Glory to God. I remember going over to church. 2135 Mac Avenue. And one of those mothers would stand up and say, just another day. That the Lord has kept me. Yeah, y'all don't know nothing about that. Just another day. That the Lord has me he has kept me from all evil when am I when 
your mind stay stayed on him just another day that the Lord has kept me mama can you say that just another day Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Hallelujah. He has kept me. Hallelujah. From all. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Mom, why? Pastor McClurkin, you remember that song? Just another day that the Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Just another day that the Lord yes, has kept me. What did it do? Yeah, He has kept me. Hold me on, little sister. Kept me in trouble. Stay on Jesus. Just one more day. Thank you, Jesus. That the Lord has kept me. Glory to God, he has kept us. Reason to just magnify him. Reason to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that I'm still alive. Glory to God. You're not through with us yet. Thank you, Jesus. And because he's not through with us yet, let's just continue to be grateful and magnify the name that's above all name. Glory to God. I just want to share this song. The Holy Spirit uh, plays his song in my heart this morning. And I want to share it with you. And I hope you will be blessed with it. Glory to God. I will serve thee Because I love thee You have given life to I was nothing before you found me. You have given life to me. Oh. Thank you. 
Jesus. I'm going to play it one more time. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? I'll play it afterwards. Let me just go into a first reading. And let's dig in in the book of John. Chapter 1. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without them was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was in the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to be a witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him, and cried, saying, this was he whom I spake, he that cometh after me, is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have we received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Glory to God. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. Glory to God. Glory to God as we continue to magnify the Lord with songs, hymns, and we just praises, magnify Him. His glorious name because truly he is a faithful God. As promised, I'll play this song one more time. Glory to God. There I go again. It's me. I get into the word. You know what? Let me just go into um, our ad for the Kings and Queens Gala. That's coming up in February the 18th. That's the new date, February 18th. Be right back.
Okay, my apologies. I'm having technical difficulties, but in the meantime, in the meantime, let's just go into um, some encouraging words. Glory to God. Glory to God, mighty God. We thank you, Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify you, Lord. We honor you, God. We submit to you. We surrender to you, God. We lift up your name, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. As you know, you were created to know God in a personal way, to have a relationship with him through his son, Jesus Christ. Or do you start a relationship with God? Realize that you're a sinner? No matter how good a life we try to live, we still fall miserably short being a good person. That is because we are all sinners. The Bible says no one is good, not even one. We cannot become who we are supposed to be without Jesus Christ. Amen to that. Recognize that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. The Bible also tells us that God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were yet sinners. This is no good. This is the good news that God loves us so much that he sent his only son to die in our place when we least deserve it. Glory to God. Think about who we were then. And who we are now, we have been transformed over. We have been transformed. And who's responsible for that? No one else but Jesus Christ. So we give him glory, we honor him, and we say thank you with a grateful heart. Repent of your sins. Another way, the Bible also tells us, repent of your sins and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped away. The word repent means to change our direction in life. Instead of running from God, we can run towards him. And I'm so glad that I ran to him and he opened his arms and he received me. And I'm so grateful for what he has done in my life, what he's doing now and what he's about to do. And I hope you all feel the same way. Trust in your Lord, knowing that he is there. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So whatever you're going through, just give it to the Lord. Give it to him. Put it down. Do not take it back up at all. Because once you do remove it from him, you're not trusting him. Trusting him at all. And for us to see God in our life, a move of God in our life, we must trust him. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. As we go again, let's see. As we are experiencing some difficulties, technical difficulties. Glory to God. I will serve thee because I love. My apologies, I found the reason why you weren't hearing the music is I turned the volume down on my iPad. My mistake again, and I saw. Please accept my apologies. I was nothing before you found me. You have given life. first receive that touch from the Holy Spirit, how it felt? Do you feel that way now? 
Oh, glory to God. I will serve thee because I love And if you have lost connection with him tonight, is the night for you to reconnect with the Holy Spirit, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who loves us so much. I was nothing before you found me. And now you know you've saved, you know you're someone. So you walk with that head up. Oh, glory to God. And if you have been walking around feeling sulky, as we say in Jamaica, you know, you, you feel like you're not wanted, you're not needed at all, you're not important, come on, I'll tell you right now, who is your father? Oh, glory to God, Jesus Christ, he loves you. Hold that head up and know who you are. Glory to God. Let no man look down on you. And for my sisters out there, you all princesses, you know that. And my brothers, princes. <laughs> Gave us life that we didn't have before. A life that we know that we have a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To me. Glory to God, and I'll play this one for my dear sister Nicole. I love you so much. And just know that I'm so connected with you. And as I go through, you go through. All right, my dear, I'm here for you. We'll always be here for you. And I love you truly. You're in my heart. In the dark of the midnight Have I all hid my face While the storms howl above me There is no hiding Mid the crash of the thunder, precious Lord, hear my cry and keep me safe till the storm passes by. This too shall pass, whatever you're going through. Just know, listen to that voice when you say, Be still. Whatever situation you're going through right now, say, Father God, your words say, Be still. It's all right. It is well with the Lord. Till the thunder sounds no more Till the cloud 
Till the storm passes by Glory to God And you're listening to 92.9 Choice Gospel Radio Your life, your salvation, your choice is 8.53 p.m. This lovely, lovely Friday evening Glory to God as we know Jesus loves us Glory to God Jesus loves me This I know For the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong We are weak but He is strong Yes, Jesus loves me Loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me every day, even when I go astray. Good and he is kind, I'm forever his and he is mine. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so Oh yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so, for the Bible tells me so. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me near. 
blessed Lord To the cross where Thou hast died Draw me nearer Nearer, blessed Lord To Thy precious bleeding There are depths of love that I cannot know Till I cross the narrow sea There are heights of joy that I may not reach Till I rest in peace with Thee Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord To the cross where Thou hast died Glory to God. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. Whatever you're going through, just know that God is with us. He is with us. Glory to God. Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon to eat up my flesh they stumbled and fell though an host should encamp against me my heart shall not fear though war should rise up against me in this will I be confident one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to be all the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up on a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing Yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. O glory to God. Hide not thy face for from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto my will, unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed, to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, courage, and he shall straighten thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord, the word of God. Be on courage, use the word of the Lord. Apply it to your life. 
apply it to your life. It's supposed to be used to our lives. Oh, glory to God. We lift up the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Do you all know where your help comes from? Lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. you say that you must know that you must say it with conviction and know who your God is my foot, my foot to be moved, the Lord that keeps the he will not slumber nor sleep oh the Lord is my keeper tonight is he your Elohim tonight or is he unchangeable God Jehovah he shall preserve my soul. is he your El Shaddai the all-sufficient one is he your Lord your provider sick in the body who do you call on do you call on Jehovah Rafi the Lord my help what we have within us, the Holy Ghost power. Hey, the Holy Ghost fire again. Send it, Lord, say send the fire again. Oh yeah, the, the Holy Ghost. And because of the Holy Ghost power that's within us, we can say Jehovah Nisi, the Lord my banner of victory. Uh -huh. 
Consuming fire it feels so good. Really, really think about that fire. Are you ready for that fire? You must be ready. Accept Jesus Christ for you to feel that fire. The Holy Ghost power, <laughs> that fire, that feels so good. to praise him when trouble comes our way why because the battle is not ours but the lord and you know we can't fight a battle that's already been won glory to god and because we have the holy ghost fire we are what that makes us warriors do you know that you are a warrior come on let everyone know in the army we have to fight because we know our Lord and Savior God, glory to God, is raising up an army of remnants, I tell you. To hold it up until we die. Ten soldiers in the army. We have to fight, although we have to die. And those that are not safe tonight, come on, join in. You want to be a part of that army. We got to hold it up. soldier of Christ. And we march with the power. Only the Holy Ghost power. This goes out to the Christian. That will last. Manpower? Oh, to God be the glory. That's nothing. If you are there, let me hear you say yeah. Come on. Say, we are going up. We are going up. We're going up together. We're going up together. One accord. We're up to conquer. It can only be done in one accord. We do it together. Say, we are going up. We are going up. We're going up together. We're going up together. Like the word of God said, where two or three are gathered in his name. He's right in the midst. So just imagine we're doing it together. Warriors. For a soon coming king. No, no. Winning souls for the kingdom. We want no one to perish. To me. Why? Because we love everyone. The love of God has transformed us. And I've got the victory. So don't talk. No, no. Defeat is not within us. Because we're winners. Don't talk defeat to me. I am a child of God. And I've got the victory. And I've got the victory. If you know you're overcomer, come on, lift up your name. I'm a warrior. Dance like David danced tonight. I'm a conqueror. Why? The devil has lost. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Say, we are going up. We are going up. We're going up together. We're going up together. We're going up to conquer.
Yeah, we're a child of the God. Defeat is not in our DNA. No, no, don't talk defeat to me. Joy of the Lord is our strength. Me, I am a child. That makes us a warrior. And, and, I, and we're ready to conquer. And I'm not I'm a that are listening to us on 92.9 FM, 92.9 FM, glory to God, and those are on the dial up, 213-493-0146, share it, and those are on the app, glory to God, download Choice Gospel Radio and share it someone, those are on the web, www.choicegospelnetwork.com. Glory to God. Don't talk defeat to me. I thank you so much for making Choice Gospel Radio your choice. And I've got the victory. And I've got the victory. It's all about love. Warrior. It's about love. God's love. It's about encouraging each other. For us to stay strong together. I am sharp now. The Lord in the name of the Lord. We cry together because we are one. What? And we laugh together because we are one. Say, I am a- That's what we do together. Yeah. Children of the Most High God. I'm an yeah. Because of God's love. Lord, in the name of the Lord. Be the glory. Amen. Amen. I know I'm overcome. I tell you, God is a good God. Let's go to, and because we are warriors, glory to the Most High God. We can tell others who God is in our lives. Let me tell you what the Lord has. Go ahead and share your testimonies. Draw souls to the kingdom. And let me tell you. By you sharing your testimonies, encouraging others, as well as letting them know that Christ is real. Save my soul, Testimony is not for you to hold on to. Oh, for you to let it go. And let me tell you what the Lord has done. Come on, testify to somebody tonight. Oh, stop. And let me tell you what the Lord has done. can share it. He has healed my body. Asthma, no more. And gave me joy, peace, and happiness. Save my soul.
Glory to God. Yes, he washed us clean. Glory to God. Let's magnify the Lord. As we go into First John chapter 2. Glory to God. First John, actually, First John chapter 1. We begin at verse chapter 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, as he is in the light, glory to God, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. That's the word of God. That's who we have become. That's who we have become. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Glory to God. We go into First John chapter 4. Beginning at verse 7 through 12. God's love. First John chapter 4 beginning at verse 7 through 12 Amen Glory to God Beloved let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God he that loveth not knoweth not God for God is love in this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so love us, we ought also to love one another. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us his spirit. Glory to God. I said unto twelve, but I'll read. The entirety two fourteen. Glory to God. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Glory to God. God's love. Thank you, Jesus. There is nothing like the love of God. It was because of God's love why he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, that our joy might be filled that we might not sin, that we might know that we have eternal life, that we ourselves might love others. Glory to God. Are you struggling with love? Are you? Ask yourself that question. Only if you are. If it's easy for you to love others, there are no struggle there. Is it easy for you to say, I love you, or is it really hard? If it is difficult, continue to build, get closer to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Build that relationship with him. Let it become intimate. And as he pour into you, it's easy for you to pour onto others. It's easy for you to say, I love you. When you see others, you, you, you just feel good. That's the love. That's the love of Christ within us. Oh, glory to God. Like me being here, I don't have to know you to love you. God's profound love. I love you and I feel good. Oh, glory to God. Thank you. I, I, I just want to thank the Holy Spirit. Oh, glory to your mighty name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Mm, such a sweet, sweet spirit. Oh, I love the presence of the Lord. I love the presence of the Lord. And I'm enjoying him right now. I'm enjoying the Holy Spirit right now. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you. It is unspeakable. We can never be separated from it. It's unending. I have loved you with an everlasting love. God's love is eternal. It's unselfish. It leads man to repent and turn to God in love. We love him because he first loved us. The moment we got saved, we were transformed by God and given the fruit of the Spirit. If God dwells within us, it should not be difficult to love one another as he asks. There is a lot of confusion about love in our world today. Our media and music shows shows dysfunctional love. The flaw of human love. We have a tendency to love only those who love us. <laughs> oh God. To hate those who hate us. To hurt those who hurt us. He that love it, not know it, not God. For God is love. That is all God's word. God's word. Do you know that all God's creation, only humans, reserve the right to hate? Animals don't hate. They have instinct to survive. They have an instinct to know who the enemy is. But they don't have emotions to hate. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. If we are God's children, then we should act and speak like God. And anyone who tonight's listening, and if you're going through changes and you're thinking, I, why, am, why am I not there? Why is this person full with the Holy Spirit or the characteristic of this person just exudes Jesus Christ and you're struggling with that what that means is for you to get closer to Christ stay connected to the true vine so you can be fed through the Holy Spirit you become one with the Holy Spirit remember he dwelleth within you you and him becomes one we're here just to encourage each other. Because we want. I want my brothers and sisters to be in heaven. Those that are listening that are not saved. And I'm praying that someone will receive the Holy Spirit tonight. Will say, I want to accept Jesus Christ. Why am I here? God has placed me here. I thank you, Lord. Because of the love to reach souls for the kingdom so no one will perish yes there will be quite a few but we do what we can and what we must because it's the right thing because of the love of God oh glory to God thank you Jesus for your love thank you Lord thank you Jesus perhaps the most telling criticism of the church today is our lack to love those unlike us we exclude from our in from an invitation list only certain people they call they give invitation to who we don't get along with or want to be the same with to be seen with what's this favorites is it That's not God's love, favoritism. That's not God's love. You love one another. You don't love this one and hate this one. That is not God's love. That's why God said, by their fruits, you shall know them. The characteristics of Christ must exude through us. 
that's who God is. That's his love. A church sister, a church brother, okay, fine, I'll give you this and not give that one. If you're going to do something, you're going to give something to someone or others in church, be discreet about it. Put it in a bag. Do it discreetly so you won't offend anyone or hurt anyone's feeling. That's how it's supposed to be done. Use discretion. And also be mindful that if I have favoritism towards others, that means you must seek the Lord. Make it right because that is not of God. That is not love. When you love, you don't hurt. You embrace each other with God's love. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to your mighty name, Lord. Thank you, God, that I know what love is, what it feels like, what it's supposed to be. And the reason why, because I know you. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for imparting your love with me, within me. I don't hold back my love from no one. Strangers? I don't see them as strangers. I greet them. Jesus loves you. I love you. That's God's love. I don't do it because I want good name or fame. I do it because of the love I can't contain it. I can't hold it down. It's bubbling within me, so I want to share it. I have to. I must. I want to. Glory to God. So I continue. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As Christian... God's love is to extend to those not just like us, but to all. If we are going to make an impact as children of God, then we must love as God loved. Every person desperately needs love, acceptance, and forgiveness. They are in your workplace, school, neighborhood, and perhaps family. Your acts of love, words of encouragement, and demonstration of forgiveness could change their lives for eternity. When our, li when our lives are totally committed to God and we are determined to obey Him, we will bear the fruit of Christ because He is divine. We cannot help bearing all the fruit of Spirit, love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we remain in him, glory to God. Glory to your mighty name. And I'll come back. The psalmist David said in his words, sing praises. Unto God sing praises. Sing praises with understanding. Which tells me that when we sing unto the Lord, we're not just singing because it sounds good. Because I can move my body. Because the beat is just what I like. It's West Indian or it's, or it's, um, it's, it, it's pop or it's R&B. But because we're singing unto the Lord with understanding. Understanding every word that you're verbalizing is unto the Lord. And if you sing it, understanding that you're singing to an awesome God. And believe it. A God who is able to do what man can't even possible think about. When you put yourself in that mindset that you're singing unto somebody whose ways are past finding out. The Bible says, who can give him counsel? Who can fathom the mind of God to know what he's going to do next? Oh, this reminds me of Paul and Silas 
when they were in jail. These are a couple of people who sang with understanding. They stood in that little room. They understood what they were singing about and they understood who they were singing unto. So it's a two-way thing. You've got to know what you're saying and who you're saying it to. If I could let my imagination go wild a little bit, I can imagine Paul singing, You are awesome in this jail, mighty God. You are awesome in this jail, Abba Father. Amen. So whatever you're battling tonight, whatever your situation, just place that situation and say, God is awesome. Of all praise to you, the deliverer, to you, the healer, to you, my provider, our hearts be raised. You are awesome in my situation, this jail. Mighty God. Have you ever been laying on your sick bed? The doctor says no, but you said, God, you are awesome. In this place. Mighty God. You are awesome. In this place. Whatever it is. Abba Father. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of all the praise. To you. To you. How our hearts we I may be sick, but God, you are awesome. The doctor said, No, but you are awesome. They said, I got six months to live, but you are awesome. I'm no longer in my sick bed. You are awesome. I'm gonna pay my bills, but you made a way. You are awesome. They gave up on me, but you are awesome. In this place, mighty God, have you ever been there? Have you ever been there? When everybody said you'll never amount to nothing, but all you can do is say, Lord, you are awesome in this place. My, those of you who know what I'm talking about, you join with me. I'm not talking about spectators, but those of you who have got a direct line to glory. You are worthy of all praise. To you, oh, you're awesome. You are awesome in this place. You're awesome in this place. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. You are. Amen. Yes, he's awesome. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So you know you're in his presence right now. And whatever the situation is, whatever you're going through right now, you have this time. A time that's not guaranteed for tomorrow. We don't know. We don't own our lives. You have this time right now as you're in his presence. Whichever way you want to raise your hands to him, you want to bow to him. Whichever way he knows and he sees your heart. Whatever is burden you, let him have it. Don't go into tomorrow with the burdens at all. Give the burdens to him. It's for him, not for you. And as you give it to him, 
just continue to trust him stay faithful and as you stay faithful and trust him he will show you who he is glory to God and as I continue glory to God divine love always expects the best the love of God doesn't hate people the love of God isn't unkind to people so in my conclusion love is very patient and kind never jealous or envious never boastful or proud <laughs> never selfish doesn't embarrass us or rude love does not de demand its own way it is not irritable or touchy it does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong it's never glad about injustice but rejoices whenever truth wins out if you love someone you will be loyal to them no matter what the cost you will always believe in them always expect the best of them and always stand a ground in defending them these three things fate hope and love and the greatest of this is love God's undenying love God's everlasting love this was um, a survey that I had to do in when I was attending Bible school and I I wrote this and I came across it and I said you know what I'm going to share it tonight because you know the, what I know Just to give that love, to share that love of Christ with others, is just an awesome feeling. And I know I've not told you tonight that I, I love you all so much, and I thank you for making choice, God's priority your choice. Thank you so much, my mom. I'll be home soon. <laughs> she kicks me out of her room all the time. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving her. I'm right next to her. <laughs> and my, my boys, my children. Um, mommy be home soon. I'll uh, say hi. Greetings to all the taxi drivers, um, you know, Brother Edwin, Minister Straker, Sister Kathy, my dear Sister Nicole, just just hang in there. I'm with you. Choice Radio listeners are also with you. Why we're with you because we love you so much and we're doing this in one accord because God is awesome. He's ahead of our lives. He has us in his palm of his hands. And he's all around us. Glory to God. To God be the glory. I know I said I was going to shout out all the islands, but I'm going to shout out all the islands. All the islands? I can't say it tonight. But all the islands and everyone that's listening to us all over. Grace and peace to each and every one of you as I go back to um, another song. Glory to God. Let's see. Ah, glory to your name. Ah. Let's do this one. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. What do you think about that? Oh, there's something about that name. Let's go for that one. Yeah. <laughs> you praise him. Anything is possible. And to, as we're Anything winding down, I want place. you right now, whatever you're going through, so give it to him right you, now. Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus. You know that name and those that are not saved tonight you accept Christ tonight you have all authority to say Jesus Jesus There's just something I don't know about you but I know about that name. because of Jesus we have the love to share with others Master. Do you know who your Savior is tonight? Come on, can you just give him a hug tonight? Can you say his name? Can you hug him tonight? 
Can you feel him right now? I know I am. He's all over me right now. All in the studio. Go it to God. Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Angelus Jen, grace and peace to you, my sister, and love you. That name, that name, that name, that name is master. Oh, and all oh, my choice, Gospel Radio family here. I love you all so much. Grace and peace to you all. So for those that are tuning tonight that have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just get that heart prepared. That is the word of God saying, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's a hard condition. Work on it in the meantime. Confess! We're talking about the deliverer tonight. Can we do that one more time? Call his name. Call his name. Jesus. Come on, sing it. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you. And cause you to walk in my statues. And ye shall keep my judgment and do them. Some of you know what I'm talking about. What? Oh my sweet Jesus. to God as we'll come back to that song we'll go back to that song so right now we're going to take this opportunity to invite someone to Christ and I hope you will accept him and make that choice tonight make that choice the most important choice you'll ever make in your life glory to God so as you have prepared your heart it is a heart condition God must work on it you must you know receive him within that heart Turn it from stone to flesh. Glory to God. Please repeat after me. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner and need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paid the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life to fill me and take control and to help me 
become the kind of person you want me to be. Thank you, Father, for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so if you have, please let us know. I just want you to know that we're here for you. And to God be the glory, great things he has done. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And if you have, find a Bible-believing church. Please do attend. If you don't have a Bible, you, I'm going to give you a number so you could always call and um, we'll definitely get it to you. Um, do get baptized. Spend time with the Holy Spirit. Ask him for guidance. Ask him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and he will give it to you. Glory to God. If you have, I'm so happy for you. I'm excited. The angels are rejoicing. Heaven's rejoicing. The Holy Spirit has just, oh God, I thank the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is so, so, so sweet in this place, and I love it. I love it. Glory to God. God bless Choice Gospel Radio. And please, all the faithful listeners and um, those that are new, please continue to keep us in praise as we continue to pray for you all. And here goes the number for those that have accepted Christ as well as those who um, need counseling. The, this is a number. It's 718-715-4411. Again, 718-715-4411. Again, 718-715-4411. Four four one one Monday through Friday, ten a.m. to five p.m. To God be the glory. And if you do need to write to us, this is the address to do so: Choice Gospel Network, P.O. Box three zero zero one six, Brooklyn, New York one one two zero three. Choice Gospel Network, P.O. Box three zero zero one six, Brooklyn, New York one one two zero three. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. And we know because we are saved, we know Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to us. Glory to God. Know what God has done for you. Let nobody steal your praise. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I've had my share. And for those that accepted Christ tonight, just know that your name is no longer in that book, but it's in the Lamb's Book of Life. Glory to God. God has been good to me. Has he been good to you? Let him know it. And And because he has been good to you, share with others. So they too may know and come to know the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. I guess. Some of you may say And I'll take this opportunity once again to thank you so much for tuning in to in his presence. Glory to God as we do this every Friday by God's will be done, of course, and we give him the glory. Most righteous and eternal God, thank you so much. Thank you for being who you are, God. Thank you for your covering. Thank you for your love. Oh what love. Thank you, Jesus. Continue there, Lord, to watch over your children, your chosen, your saints, and those that have accepted you tonight, God. Oh, please hold on to them. Keep them, Lord, safe. God will give you glory. Thank you for all the Choice Gospel Radio listeners all over that so faithfully tune in to be encouraged by your word. God, we give you glory and we thank you. In no other name but your name, Jesus. Amen. 
And again, I love you so much. And we'll do this again by God's will next Friday. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And stay warm, okay? And know about that heart. <laughs> Your heart's warm, right? Glory to God. And just share Choice Gospel with someone. I love you so much. Good night, Tata. Love you. Sending love and hugs your way. Bye-bye. And all my glories, oh, yes, he was. I said, Jesus is the best thing to ever witness tonight. <laughs> that ever happened to me. And don't allow anyone to put your light out at all. No one. If anyone wants, continue to be the light and the salt of the world. Right. Thank you, Jesus. And let's continue to just represent our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Whatever the reason you choose to write about me, yeah. Oh, whatever, Lord, whatever the reason. So glad that I can say tonight that Jesus was there between every line of all of my pain and all my glories. Oh, yes, he was there. I said, Jesus, Jesus is the, the best, best thing. thing. Thank you, Lord. The with me tonight I don't know what he's done for you but I can only speak for myself oh and he's been a good God hallelujah he's a good God amen thank you Jesus this is to you father I love you more than words can say I try to find the words each day that tell you how I truly feel. Oh Lord, I thank you. You are my close and dearest friend. On you I know I can depend. How can I let you truly know how much I thank you?
Thank you for loving me. You look beyond all my faults and saw my needs. I love you more, so much more than words can say. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Whenever I am feeling low, I know a place where I can go and tell you how I truly feel. Oh Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I can tell you all about my day. I trust you, Lord, comes what may. That's why deep from my heart I say how much I thank you. Thank you for choosing me in spite of what I am and what. Thank you, Jesus. I used to be. I love you, I love you more. So much more than words can say. Oh, thank you, Lord. I really thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving me, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Yes, you did. Thank you. Thank you for blessing me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for showing me how much you care for me, Jesus. I'm so, so glad, glad that you died, died for me, me from sin. sin. Yes, you did. You, you set me free. free. So much more 